Our guys played hard, uh, had some opportunities to win it, and uh, at the end of the day, they more, made more plays than we did. Um, with that, I'll turn, it, turn it over to you with your questions. The decision to kick the field goal in overtime in six, was there any thought of going yeah. for the win and trying to just win it right there? On yeah, there was. Um, if we had gotten to you know, fourth and two, fourth and three, possibly, we had talked about that, going for it, going for the win for sure. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, one, I thought about it. I thought about going for it just with their pass rushers and, um, you know, 20 seconds. I just wanted to make sure, really, I was trying to end the game a couple plays before, um, using the timeout on third down. We had them at, I think it was the, uh, the plus 41, trying to make sure we had the right defense there to make it a tough field goal, which it was, and um, emptied out the next one to try and, hey, it's in the rain. Um, Make the, make the kicker think about it a little bit, and he made a 59-yard field goal. Um, great play by him, and then you know, we're left with one right there, and, and so um, we went to overtime, got the ball, and had a chance to win it, and at the end of the day, didn't. Do you think you should have kept one of those? Like, I understand, obviously. Yeah, I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, you know, so it's, believe me, it's, it's gone through my, through my mind more than once. Um, so when you get the result you got, you're always looking back and saying, hey, um, yeah, maybe maybe kept one of those and, um, you know, so that, that's the life we live. I don't know if you could play much better defensively and you guys did in that first half, what, from your perspective, changed after half? Yeah, in the second half, they hit a couple runs. You know, they went to the run game more, Mike there, and, and um, hit a couple runs, and, and then it became a two-dimensional type of game again with, with their running game, the RPOs, and, and then Hertz made a number of plays with his feet. Um, more so in the second half than, than he did in the first half. So um, I thought we were rushing well in the first half and playing good rushing coverage. And, um, you know, they had their tackle down uh, as well in the game, going into the game. And, and so um, I felt like our front was getting after him a little bit there. And, and, then, and then the second half, he got out a few times and, and was giving us some trouble with his feet. John, um, I know these are always tricky questions, but you're – Evaluation of the officiating. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not going there. I appreciate the question, Tim, but I can't go there. With the four for four in the red zone. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm assuming you don't think that's going to be done defensively. No, I mean, I thought, I thought our third down defense uh, was good, uh, but our red zone wasn't good enough. Um, you know, tried to hit a zero blitz there at the end just to maybe pop pop the quarterback run and. Um, so, you know, they had to, I mean, he was making plays with his feet. So you're trying to do everything you can to add to the rush lanes, and, and he popped it, popped the run. So. so what do you make of the performance of the offense and maybe in the broader context of two weeks now with Joe? Yeah, you know, there were, I thought we moved the ball well. Um, I mean, 500 yards. Um, I think that, that says a lot about um, the direction we're headed on offense. Uh, I did, do think we had some opportunities to come up with more, and so just as an overall team, I think that's the that's the uh, kind of the, the the general sentiment coming out of the game is you know whether it's special teams, opportunity there's opportunities there, opportunities offensively, opportunities defensively, and um, and so um, those are the ones you you want back. I know the players want some of that back. I want some of it back. The coaches do as well. So um, against a good football team, you, you know, came in here and and played well, um, we just got to continue to work on finding plays, right? Finding plays down the stretch and um, obviously not enough. When you go on the road, score 34 against Philly, I mean, everybody knows how good they are on both sides of the, the ball. Does it feel a little bit from a complimentary perspective the defense let the offense down a little bit in this spot? Well, that's, that's where I look first, right? I look at myself first and I look at the defense uh, right after that. And, and uh, in the second half, we didn't do enough to win the game. Um, and so um, if you come out and, and you're able to shut them down in the second half like we did in the first half, then, then yeah. Uh, but again, I think it's, it's, a, it's a team game. And so you have opportunities across the board, offensively, defensively, and special teams. Um, but that's where I start with myself in the defense. John, what was the explanation they gave you for the national down They said that Gabe was not in the area. Is that the one you're referring to? Yeah. Um, you know, from the information I got, Gabe was in the area. Um, so that's what I go by.
on the shot what at the end. What did you see out of Gabe in general tonight? Yeah, I thought he made some big time catches for us. Um, I thought I thought quite a few of the guys did. You know, Josh moved the ball around a little bit there, and um, you know, I thought Josh stood in the pocket well. And again, that's a good pass rushing defense. On the shot at the end zone, there Gabe was that did he just turn the wrong way? Like what happens there? Yeah, I mean it was just a little bit of miscommunication there, and um, had him open, and and that's what I'm saying. That's that's one right there where opportunity to win the game, put it away, and. And, and they made the plays um, that were there to be made, and we didn't. Um, but we go back and um, learn from this, and, and we move forward. What's the assessment of your place kicking lately? Well, I think T, T. Bass has done some really good things. Um, you know, we have a lot of confidence in T. Bass. Uh, obviously, he, he made some kicks tonight, and he, and he, and he, he wants two of those back, I'm sure. Um, uh, those are some of the opportunities I was referring to overall as a team. Um, so. Uh, but it never comes down to one person or, or one play. I know you, you didn't want to touch too much on the officiating, but when you do go on the road, having as many penalties as you guys had today from assessing that, I mean, how big of a problem was that in this game? I mean, we'll look, we'll look at them. I mean, I, I, know, I know one. I can just tell you one. I saw the replay. Um, our hands were outside the framework um, on one of the holds that, we, that got called. Um, I, you know, so I'm not going to get into... You know how many we had, how many they had, they had, or whether the calls were were there or not. Um, at the end of the day, um, you got to take the officials out of it. Is what you got to do with your level of play. I know at the end, at the end of the day, winning and losing is all that really matters. But listening to one of the Eagles' defensive players after the game on the field doing an interview, he was like, "Josh Allen's an MVP kind of quarterback." Mm-hmm. Have you seen that the last couple of weeks? Have you seen that switch a little bit? Right. No. Yeah. For sure. Um, his level of play has risen over the last two weeks, and that's, I think that's really the biggest thing. When you can, when your quarterback is playing well, you got a chance. Um, and the inconsistency leading up to the last two weeks were, um, were why I made the decision. You know, one of the reasons why I made the decision that I did to move to move forward here. So, um, but the last two weeks, Josh Allen's level of play has been has been good enough for us to win. We all know no moral victory, Sean, but I mean, is that something you feel like you can take and maybe some other things? What do you take into the bye with you and your message to them um, as you look toward a week off and then a tough stretch? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, there are more, no moral victories. Um, I do, I am encouraged by the direction of our offense the last two weeks. And, um, and so I think, you know, holistically as a team, um, we've got to, assess where we're at, go and do some self-scout this week and get ourselves ready for the Kansas City Chiefs. John, you okay. Last month, one of the things in the locker room that was thrown around was gut punch. And as you head into a bye after another loss, and I know they're all tough losses, yeah. how do you keep the guys up? Yeah, you stand up. I mean, it's time to, I mean, this is like, I mean, this is, this is the league we're in, right? We came in here, we fought our asses off. We didn't make enough, we didn't do enough. Uh, make enough plays, do enough on the coaching end. And at the end of the day, um, there's, tough, there's a tough group of guys in that locker room, right? So tough group of coaches. And, um, you know, we're a good football team, and, and we just came, up, came out on the short end here. So um, there are no, no moral victories. Um, every, each and every one of us have to look at ourselves. And like I told you, that starts with me, and, um, and that's what you do. Uh, that's what the best do, and, and uh, I know our, our football team's a darn good football team. Thanks, right, guys.